Today on our 2013 Chevrolet Silverado, we're going to show you how to install the Hopkins Polax 7 and 4 pole trailer connector socket with mounting bracket. This is the vehicle side. Part number is HM40975. Here's what the wiring looks like once you get it installed. Really nice, clean setup. We've got our four pole on this side. Our seven pole is going to be on this side. It's going to eliminate the need for the uh, the adapter that we'll have. So whatever trailer we back up to, whether it's four pole, seven pole, we'll have it right there. Um, with the seven pole option over here, if you did have like a brake controller or if you had a 12 volt power router running to the back, if your backup lamps were tied into it, any of those things, you'll have great uh, great power to the back here through those so you can operate all those other items plus having just your simple four pole connector which you're going to see in a lot of your smaller utility trailers maybe bike racks or cargo carriers if they're going to come up and cover your lights so really very adaptable a lot of different uses that are out there available for it i like the spring loaded doors they kind of close down and seal off our plugs to keep the corrosion dirt debris stuff like that out each one of them has a rubber gasket that's here on the back side. That gasket provides a seal around there. It's going to help to keep that going for a long time. Uh, this pin in here and the, the springs are a stainless steel, so those are also going to resist corrosion. We're not going to have to worry about a bunch of rust and stuff like that here in the rear of our truck. Now we're going to start our installation by mounting our bracket onto our hitch. Some hitches are going to have a bracket that's already there welded on to give you your mounting location. Some are gonna have uh, just a smooth tube like we've got here. With this one having the smooth tube, we've added a bracket, uh, it's called the short bracket. And basically it's just a band clamp that goes around. And as you can see, it's gonna give us a nice sturdy connection point. We'll now bring in the bracket that's gonna come with our wiring. Also the self-tapping screws. And we'll fasten those right into the already existing holes that are in the bottom of that short bracket. Now we'll bring our plug end in, clip it right into our bracket. You can see it clips right in, almost like it was made for it. Then we can reach right up underneath our bumper here on the back side of the factory plug that's up here and pull that wiring out. Now right up here on the top, there's a little tab that we want to push down and then we'll just kind of wiggle it on off. There we go. Now we've got this little pull tab right here. We want to pull that out and we'll just rotate that plug be able to slide it right out. Now we're going to use just a little bit of dielectric grease right down in that connector. And we're just going to bring that up, slide it right under the back of our connector and you want to hear it click and then we'll push and pull on it to make sure everything's nice and secure. And then that wiring, if we've got any excess, we can just zip tie it up. That looks good though, I don't think we'll have any issues. Gives us enough slack there so it's not pulled real tight. Looks great. All right, now we're gonna run through a test, check out all of our lights on both the seven pole side and the four pole side to make sure everything's working properly. The first one we're gonna test is gonna be our clearance lights. So we'll have them turn the lights on and this should light up with a solid signal. That's perfect. The next test we'll do is for our left turn signal. So we'll turn the blinker on, and we should get a flashing light right here. All right, now our right turn signal will be the far light. Great, and now when they stand on the brakes, we should have constant signal from both this one and that one. So perfect, we know our seven poles working fine. The customer doesn't have a 12 volt wire hooked up or a brake control or anything like that. So our other circuits won't need to be tested. Now let's check out our four pole side. We're going to find a suitable ground. Typically we test our ground right here, but can't get a tester on it. So now we'll have the, the running lights on. And that should give us a constant signal from the second metal connection from the top. Perfect. The next one's gonna be our left blinker which should give us a flashing signal from the second from the bottom. 
Now our right blinker should give us that same signal from the one at the very bottom. And now our brakes should give us a constant signal from both the one at the bottom and the one at the second from the bottom. All right, everything's working great. We're ready to head down the road. Now with everything working properly, that's gonna to complete today's installation of the Hopkins seven and four pole trailer connector socket with the mounting bracket. Part number HM40975. On our 2013 Chevrolet Silverado.